Sorry, uh, good playing. So you're saying that you hit it just as good as yesterday, but the, the ball just didn't want to go in the yeah, hole? Um, I, I hit my driver equally as good. Hit it great again. Um, just didn't make any putts early. Um, I could have easily shot four or five under on that front. Played really well. Um, and then just kind of lost momentum. Hit, missed like a four footer on 10. It's just a bad stroke. And then kind of whiffed a wedge on 11. But um, still hit some good shots coming down the stretch. And some bounces definitely didn't go my way there at 16, 17. Um, but still playing well, so. You talked yesterday about what you've learned in terms of traveling the tour and moving yeah. to Houston has helped you. You got a lot yeah. more direct nonstop. Big time. Um, what have you learned from, you had you had close calls in Phoenix, yeah. travelers, and then not entirely at Sanderson Farms where maybe you just didn't quite have it on the last day, but yeah. what have you learned from sort of those three tournaments? Yeah, um, it's funny. I feel like all three of those were kind of kind of different. Sanderson, I had to lead the whole time till the back nine on Sunday. And then, actually pretty similar at Phoenix, but um, Travelers was like, I was kind of fighting from behind the whole time. I was never really in the lead till legitimately 17, I think. Um, so I feel like I'm in a pretty similar spot right now. The course is playing gettable. These guys are too good. I think a few guys with double digits for sure at the end of the day, if not, you know, five or six, but um, probably being like seventh or eighth group back and just keep doing what I'm doing. Um, I think I'm starting to, I'm not even doing anything like consciously. I've just unconsciously gotten better with handling some nerves. And um, I keep reminding myself, this is a great feeling to feel pressure. So I'm for sure going to feel some pressure on the first tee tomorrow, no matter where I stand, honestly. But um, it's just, it's nice like having been through that a few times now. And what were you working on last night? You scored really well yesterday and then you went out to the range. And... Yeah, I, well, I think I lost, I lost like a full shot on approach yesterday too. Um, just. I've been hitting my wedges and short irons so far right, and um, it was just a rhythm thing. And I think it was a rhythm thing again today. I hit a couple better ones down the stretch, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if I lost a ton again today. I know it's not California, but what's it like to have? The... Sorry, can you speak up? A Sorry, I know it's not California, but uh, what's it like to have the cheering yeah. section that you yeah. that you have with you here? It's awesome. It's been a. They came out a lot of a lot of my family friends came out to the open, um, but. I haven't had a crowd like this since the West Coast swing, so I have my head coach and his boys here, which is awesome to have them out. And then I see my parents and a couple uncles and friends, so I probably have a crew of 10, you know. And then this is the first, this might be like the third time, second or third time all year where I've had my full, like I had my swing coach here and my trainer and my agent. So it's like, it's it's really, it's kind of nice. It feels comforting to have everyone around. But uh, yeah, it, it means the world to me that they're here. Do you hear them when you're out there? Do you, do you can you hear them? Yeah, yeah, but um, you know, I've I learned pretty early on like they're just there to support me and and they're loving it. So I, but also I've kind of toned it out. But I, I'll ride the ride the momentum for sure. Like if the energy's feeling good, I I've, I feel like I'm fairly even keel. Um, but yeah, I definitely hear them, which is which it's awesome. So Heath, when you you know with the rains earlier in the week, it seemed that the course played a little you know easy yesterday. Yeah. Do you expect it to get tougher now that yeah. the sun, sun's supposed to bake for the next couple of days? Hundred um, percent. It's gonna it's def, it's only gonna get tougher. I was saying yesterday might have been the easiest scoring round of all time out here because this is it's really not an easy golf course. And like I said, these guys are so good and they're making it look easy. Um, I mean, you're scrambling out of the rough out here. It's it's all about hitting fairways. But I think historically. Um, I'd like to think this is a, one of the harder golf courses, but like I said, soft conditions and ball in hand, the ball in hand makes a big difference. Right. I think it saves nearly two shots around just because of the chipping. You get these gnarly into the grain lies, but now you're just teeing it up on top of them and clipping it off those. So, um, yeah, I think it's only going to get harder, and obviously with all the implications too. So I was told, uh, I, was, I was told you might have, uh, you might be in the market for a new car. You, you think you're getting closer to sorry that. could you repeat the last part again? you might be in the market for a new car yes are yes. you are you feel like you're getting close to that getting close for sure i have a um my volkswagen passat still just hit the hundred thousand mile mark and well the only problem is i just got it fixed like a 700 hundred dollar repair so i'm like oh i don't need a new car now but i've always been i've always dreamed of having a nice car that's kind of the first thing i was gonna buy like i don't really spend on anything so definitely going to look into it. I think this offseason I'm probably going to do it.